Okay, so this question is about alkenes. Related topics that you might want to look at include organic reagents and conditions, particularly for this one, the reactions of alkenes. You need to be able to draw and name organic molecules. Uh, also be familiar with the types of formulae that we can use to represent organic molecules, including structural, skeletal and displayed. It be a good idea to have a knowledge of reaction mechanisms, particularly the terms nucleophile and electrophile in terms of electron transfer. Knowing the types of uh, reactions such as addition, substitution and elimination. And particularly again for this question, carbocations, what they are and how to assign them as primary, secondary or tertiary. So here's the question. Pause the video, read it, have a go, and press play when you are ready for the answer. Okay, welcome back. Here's the format that I'm going to use. Black is the question, blue the model answer, and red any additional information. So the first thing to spot is that this is an electrophilic addition reaction. The electrophile is the hydrogen bromide. The hydrogen atom accepts a pair of electrons from the carbon-carbon double bond. A mixture of products can be formed when an asymmetrical electrophile is added to an asymmetrical alkene. In particular, uh, for this question, the hydrogen bromide is the electrophile, so that's asymmetrical, and you'll need to draw out the 2-methylbutuene to see what's going on to, uh, to get to the mixture of products. The major product is formed via the most stable carbocation intermediate. That's a really good sentence to, to memorize. You could be asked for it in, in other questions about explaining why this or this is, is the major product. And you have to know that tertiary carbocations are the most stable, then secondary, primary carbocations are the least stable. So let's take a look at what carbocation is. As the name suggests, something that contains carbon, something that has a full charge, and because it's a carbocation, the cations would suggest that it's got a full positive charge. There's an example of a primary carbocation. So the carbon in question with the positive charge is attached to two hydrogen atoms. The R represents any sort of organic group. In the second example, though, we've got a carbon atom which has got a positive charge. Again, it's bonded to three things, but it's only bonded to one hydrogen atom. So the one on the left is a primary carbocation. The one in the middle is a secondary, which leaves the one on the right, and there it is, is the tertiary carboca uh, carbocation. The most stable is the tertiary carbocation on the right-hand side. The least stable is the primary carbocation. So let's start off by drawing out our 2-methylbutuene. The carbon-carbon double bond is the focus. The carbon on the left of the double bond is attached to two methyl groups, and the one on the right is attached to a methyl and a hydrogen. I would describe that as being an asymmetrical alkene. In the first step, the hydrogen adds to one of those carbons. It can either bond to the right or the bond to the left. If it bonds to the right, it leaves the C plus on the left. Uh, if it bonds to the one on the left, it leaves the C plus on the right. So there are two possible carbocation intermediates. In the second stage, the bromide ion that's formed attacks the C plus. So that would be the product uh, going from the roots on the, uh, on, the, on the lower of the two possibilities. The carbocation in the, uh, in the top scenario is tertiary. The one on the bottom is secondary. So the one on the top, the C plus, is attached to zero hydrogen atoms, making it tertiary. The one on the bottom is attached to one hydrogen atom, making it secondary. The tertiary is the more stable, and so this route leads to the major product. More stable is the top one, and there's our major product. Now, watch out for the uh, detail in the question. It asks for the displayed formula. So you can see that the actual answer in blue, given there, shows every single bond. There are no contractions of CH3. That is the displayed formula. So the displayed formula of the major product is given in blue there on the top right.
Thanks for watching. New videos are added regularly, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out. Any questions that you have about this video or requests for future content, very welcome. You can email using the address given below or simply post in the comments.